Okay, well, we've been talking uh, during our commercial breaks about what we're doing this weekend, and uh, for Stacy, for you, it involves some golfing, right? I yeah, hope to get on the golf course uh, maybe tomorrow uh, because that may be the best day that we have. Well, let's find out. Here's Ray Petlin. Ray? Uh, tomorrow is actually looking to be a pretty nice day and probably the best of the weekend, as Stacy mentioned. Uh, right now, it's not bad for an evening. You get uh, temperatures mid to upper 60s right now. We're at 67 in Pittsburgh, 68 Catanning. Washington's at 65. Uh, most of our temperatures are, are huddled pretty close together. You do start to see the numbers falling off out towards Somerset. You're in the upper 50s there. There's a little extra cloud cover there. That extends down into Oakland, Maryland, down towards Deep Creek. So it's a little cooler there. And I wouldn't completely rule out a stray sprinkle over the next hour or so. Now we, the clouds have been breaking up over Pittsburgh, so we're getting a good patch of blue skies over Pittsburgh. Out at the airport, still mostly cloudy skies reported in 67 degrees. Winds out of the north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. We have the low humidity, visibility 10 miles, and when it comes to visibility, 10 miles is uh, the best visibility you can have, at least for when you're, when you're taking readings. Now, as Stacy mentioned, the weekend, Saturday is the best of the bunch. This is where we get the mix of sun and clouds. Now, Sunday, there are going to be some scattered showers around. I am not anticipating this one to be a complete washout. We'll get these waves of mainly lighter rain moving through, and it's going to not even come close to what we had last Sunday for Mother's Day. Remember how it wouldn't stop raining all day long? We're not going to have that. So clouds right now, they're breaking up over Pittsburgh. Uh, we're going to see those clearing skies try to take over for a bit tonight, and then partly cloudy skies return tomorrow as this high pressure drifts off to the east. So that's clearing us out tonight. We're going to get some clouds trying to follow this up tomorrow. So during the afternoon, especially, we're going to see the clouds increase. You can see these spotty showers trying to develop out towards Chicago, out towards Indianapolis Sunday early, early morning. We're talking well before sunrise and 7 a.m. Some of those showers start to approach us and then they take over the area once we get into Sunday. So just know Sunday we're going to get these areas of scattered, mainly light rain moving through and it's not going to amount to a whole lot. We're talking uh, maybe a tenth to two tenths of an inch of uh, rainfall when all is said and done in worst case scenarios up into the ridges. And then we're talking hundredths of an inch for most everyone else compared to last week where we were almost two inches in many cases with that heavy, heavy rainfall. So now we're looking for a quiet night. We're looking for a quiet start to the weekend. So 43 tonight, partly to cloudy to mostly clear skies, light and variable winds. Once we get into tomorrow, 69 degrees for your high temperature. This is sunshine. It's going to mix with clouds for the afternoon. By the time we get to the evening, it's going to be mostly cloudy. So you can see here as we break it down for you, partly cloudy skies early on. Even into noontime, you're going to get a little of that sunshine. It's going to be a beautiful start to the weekend. Upper 60s there. We keep it into the upper 60s. Some spots are going to try to flirt with that 70 degree mark. We get that into the afternoon with those mostly cloudy skies. And those clouds are not breaking up tomorrow night into Sunday. That's because we have rain coming in and it'll be scattered, mainly light rain with the extra cloud cover, the extra moisture in the atmosphere. The warming is not going to be as efficient, so we're going to lose a degree for Sunday. But it's one step back and then we take several steps forward temperature wise and if you like the warm stuff next week is for you 70 on monday above average tuesday wednesday thursday and friday where we could see 80 degrees and with the weekend coming up and even a few showers floating around for the weekend know where they are you can track them with the interactive radar if heavy rain ever pops up during the course of this summer it'll tell you it's nearby all in this cool free app just search CBS Pittsburgh in your App Store and Google Play.